We're flying Batik Air together today, first time. Welcome back. I'm at the best airport in the world, at Changi, at Singapore. This airport is just so beautiful. Hey, thank you. Nice to see you. I am coming to Indonesia today, Jakarta. Here we come. First time flying Batik Air today. Oh, yeah, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Hello, how are you? Okay, your number is 3A. I love your uniform. Beautiful Hi. uniform. Yes. This is Batik. Yeah. Batik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. First time. First time. Very nice. My name is Ingomai, uh, my captain. Welcome to uh, Batik L, this flight number to ID. 7156 going to Jakarta, Spano Hatta and Transal Airport. Um, with a flight time about 1 hour 30 minutes, to pushing at 35,000 feet above the level. What's your name, sir? Anga. Anga? Yes. I love the tie you're wearing. This is Batik, right? Yes, Batik. From Beautiful. Indonesia. Yeah. I'm really excited today, um, you know, because I haven't flown on the Indonesian airline for a very long Seriously? time. Seriously? Yeah, wow. I specifically want to fly Batik Air. I want to fly something different. Thank you, welcome. All right, looking forward to it. Uh, Mr. Shu, this is your hotel. Thank you. Thank you. And for your welcome drink, we have um, uh, guapa juice for mineral water. Which one do you prefer? I have the juice, please. Sure. Thank you. There are so many flights between Singapore and uh, Jakarta. I have so many choices, but I want to do something different this time. So I want to do on Batik Air. I found this is very unique Indonesian airline. I researched a little bit more. I actually think Batik Air is actually a full service airline of Lion Air Group. The Lion Air, the parent airline, is actually a low cost airline, very popular in Indonesia because of cheaper fare. The Batik Air is actually more a full service carrier and it has a sister airline called Malindo Air in Malaysia as well. This is your headset, Mr. Chui. Maybe you want to. Thank you dan dikencangkan seperti ini untuk mengeratkan topi mulut dan hidung kaitkan bang dengan sempurna tiup di bakarat lampu akan menyala jika baterai if there's anything that we do to make this flight more enjoyable to you please do not hesitate to let us know thank you for your kind attention The flight is not full today, it's only 80 passengers, so I got to try out both the business class and the economy and just checking out what the features like in the economy. Hi, we are preparing for our This is sausage roll, our menu for today. Sausage roll? Yes, sausage roll.
for today, we have two choices. There's a uh, fried rice with the uh, black pepper chicken, and then the other one is rice with the uh, chicken or uh, chili. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. Well, I am getting very comfortable on my flight on Batik Air. Now, as a frequent traveler, I use VPN. Why I use VPN? Because I want to secure my data and also to avoid internet censorship. A lot of times I am connected to public Wi-Fi such as hotel Wi-Fi. Sometimes I don't feel comfortable sending important banking credentials over the internet using public Wi-Fi. So that's where the VPN come in handy to encrypt the data to protect the identity. Internet censorship these days is becoming a huge pain for travelers like me. So the best way is using Surfshark VPN to connect to a different country that access all the content you want. And now I want to introduce a new feature in Surfshark VPN. It's called Hacklock. Hacklocks provide an extra layer of security. It scans through your email address and also your password. In case there's a breach or leak, Hacklock would notify you by email and you can take appropriate action. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.com slash Sam. Enter promo code Sam. Get 83% off and one free month that is less than $2 per month as a VPN subscription. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Very, very hazy pollution when you're crossing over and then when you come into near Jakarta, you know the visibility drops. It's really fun every time when I come to Indonesia, looking forward to this time. And the flight went really well. I mean, the crew were really warm, just as all the Indonesian crew would do. Um, I figured Batik Air is a value carrier, I would say. Um, it provides pretty good value, and you have a decent business class products, like the US domestic business class chairs, um, a good meal for one and a half hour, pretty good. How was your flight, madam? Is it good? Good. Like, yes. Why do you fly with Batik Air? Do you fly many different airlines? Uh, because the money is good. Yeah, yeah good yeah, value, right? Is good, yes. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you so much. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. See you again. <laughs> See you, right? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See, See, See you again. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we are making thing photo and a video. <laughs> Rima, yes? you're gonna sh teach me some more words in Bahasa. Senang terbang bersama batik air. Senang? Senang terbang bersama batik air. Oh, I, do, I, I couldn't follow you. I couldn't follow you. Oh my god. The easier one. The easier one. Like, well, here. The easier one like senang bertemu. Senang bertemu. Is this something nice or yeah. not? Nice, it is right? like, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I like this pink one. Yeah. This dress, the pink color. Yeah, it's very cool. It came from Manado. Manado. So Manado. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. you Thank you very much. Some yeah. to speak like Manado. Manado. I look like Indonesian, no? I, <laughs> yeah. I just had a holiday in Thailand. I had such a suntan. <laughs> oh, I think the closest I have to Batik, this is a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, so Hawaiian I say shirt. it's a Hawaiian Batik. But right now, I'm going to buy a Batik shirt. Yeah. So tomorrow, I have a fan meeting in Indonesia. Indonesia. We have so much giveaway yeah. today for everybody who's into aviation today. <laughs> uh, the, the coffee barrister is actually a fan. How amazing it is. Hey, how are you? Hey.
Nam Don Jungpa. It is my deepest honor and pleasure to take to share this session with you. Are you guys all well today? Yes. I'm from Bandung. Oh. And I'm from Surabaya. Welcome. Where are you from? Singapore. Singapore. Where are you? From Italy. Oh. Let's give a round of applause. Today we have a birthday boy here. And he's also very famous. I think he's the Sam Tree of Indonesia. It's Iquan Hidayat. Okay. 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 The camera's turned. You are amazing. You know why I like you? Because not not because we look alike, but also you and I are always smile. We smile so nicely. And we are non-threatening, aren't we? We are one of the most friendly people around here. And I have a gift for you here. A special shirt that Whoa. only a few Singapore Airlines people have. And now you have this. This is a special t-shirt. So I made this shirt. I made a 20 copy. But the biggest mistake I made is I made them all in large and extra large. And everyone made small. So I finally can give out one of the shirts to you. Can someone take a picture of us? I was told. But I think I knew it as well, in my blood. I'm an Indonesian. I look like Indonesian, don't I? <laughs> this is my first batik shirt. I bought it today. Thank you, thank you. And I love this shirt. Thank you so much. Anything make me look slim, I'll do it. <laughs> the wipes are so good. Every time I come to Indonesia, the people here makes me happy. Because with your support, you guys gave me a lot of strength to be here. Thank you again. Thank you very much. I want to talk about sharing with you my love of aviation, especially in Indonesia. I think many of you didn't know. I came to Indonesia in 2001, the first time. There were lots and lots of pictures I've taken because I started and I'm always a plane spotter. Um, those days coming to Indonesia was really amazing. I've got so many stories to share with you. Um, the first time I arrived in Jakarta, there was a there was just villages around the perimeter road at that time. There was literally no fence. And there were holes, a big holes. I can go through this little hole, go inside, next to the runway, and people were washing clothes on the river, you know? And then like there were chicken running, hens running, <laughs> lambs running, and, and then but the amazing thing is there was no fence. You can take great pictures. At that time, there was not many Indonesian spotters, I think. And I thought, what a place. Um, you know, I'm going to share with you some picture I've taken there. Yeah, this is from the place I told you, you can go inside the airport and police don't catch you. You go through the hole, go inside, stand there, just among the villager. I look like Indonesian, so you blend in. <laughs> 747, every day. I think the flight number JL712 come to Jakarta. This plane, um, I took this plane when I first came to Indonesia. It was from Singapore on the 747 Combi. Ooh. This is taken in, uh, in Sukarno Hatta, in Terminal 1, the observation deck. They call it the Waving Gallery, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Have anyone seen this airline? This is a Delta Airline tail, Indonesian <laughs> Airlines logo. I think this airline didn't last long. How about this one? Anyone float by here? How about this? A 707 takeoff in Halim. I think I was very lucky. I went there. Within five minutes, I hear a loud, loud sound roaring into the sky, and this thing just took off in Halim. It was an Air Force Base open day. At that time, Halim doesn't have any commercial flights. It was just military, cargo, VIPs. Do you know the history about this airplane? I also took at Halim. This was used by HM The Cream, and then it was sold to an Indonesian businessman. Anyone can tell what aircraft type this one is. Oh, who said Transall? Amazing. Salute to you, you know the type. So this is a very rare type, it's called the Transall. In those days were fairly standard in Indonesia. You look at Burak, Mandala, Star Air, Airfast, um, every airline. The main domestic fleet is 737-200. So later on, this was in 2013, um, I made an effort, I went to Jeddah. And, um, you know, I've flown all the 747 in the world. I have to fly on the Garuda 747. But it was a beautiful moment. You look at it, it was 
just before sun, just after sunset, and uh, you look at you can just adore how big this airplane is. I want to answer any question you have for me. Uh, I saw you your video on YouTube. You can uh, travel a lot with the more experienced, yeah, more than uh, first class. You can uh, travel with the resident class, and the last video you travel with the private private jet. So uh, for for that's all the ticket you paid it all, or sometimes the airline invite you to take a video or for the promotion. Thank you. Seventy five percent of my tickets is paid out of my own pocket. It used to be hundred percent. Okay. And then as I gained bigger, there were lots and lots of invites. To be honest with you, I have hundreds of emails and invites sitting there. I pick on those invites that are unique, that can make a content that is benefits to the viewers, of course, and also benefits me in terms of perhaps a golden chance, like a delivery flight, that you, know, you were never able to buy a ticket to fly on those. A special flights. Uh, we're talking that uh, Qantas is making a Project Sunrise flying Sydney to New York non-stop. They only pick 40 passengers. They invite them only. You cannot buy tickets for those events. Those are definitely, um, strictly speaking, sponsor flights and I take them. And our YouTube viewers and everybody is pretty smart. They can also figure out. Apart from I also told them I've been invited. As a YouTuber, you make your money from the advertising income from the minutes it watched from the video. And uh, of course, I would like to thank everybody who has watched my video that helps me to get here. Hello, Sam. My name is Tommy. Uh, my question is, did you ever film uh, without making, uh, without filming, filming it just like ordinary packs? And the second is, will you fly again with Garuda Indonesia? You raise a really good question because when you start, when you're doing filming on a flight, um, you, you know, I myself become an observer. You observe every moment and then start really fire up the camera and fire up the lens to shoot. So in many ways, you are unable to relax. It's like you're working on a plane, right? You're capturing all the details. You're almost like you're working like a crew member there. Um, so I have just filming duty flights and that head flight. That head flight means I enjoy whatever I do. I go on a plane, I straight away sleep or ease just like normal passenger and then relax more. And then sometimes when you go on a special flight, you want to make a video. Let's say I was in Canada. I was on the, uh, the mining gravel strip operation. I was filming like a documentary and I was just one of the crew. I follow everything, doing everything. And in both ways, I enjoy honestly because um, when I do the filming, I was very concentrated and I became very passionate. Sometimes passion run really high, your heads become really hot. But at the end of the day, it was good to document that because if I don't do it, I don't know when there will be people doing it. We might be losing a piece of content there. Um, the second question with Garuda, fingers crossed, inshallah, I might be flying in a few days with Garuda. Okay, if Garuda release a war seat, I have some miles to redeem a seat, and then hopefully Garuda can hear that message. And <laughs> hopefully, you know, the good news is Garuda is gonna be one of the first airline in Asia Pac receive the A330 Neo. So hopefully, I can work with Garuda together to take delivery of this plane from Airbus factory in Toulouse and fly back to Jakarta. Hello Sam, uh, can you tell me about what is your best flight ever? It could be your first flight, it could be your before YouTube, YouTube era or after YouTube era. Thank you. I actually want to answer another angle. I never had a bad flight in my life. People would say, do you have ever had a bad flight? I said never, they just don't believe me. Because I love the airplane. I love sitting inside a plane. After it take off, my mind will disconnect. I don't use Wi-Fi on board. I don't usually watch movie. I survived the Singapore to Newark, 18 hours flight nonstop, without watching one single movie. I don't know what I was doing. I was just sitting there for 18 hours. <laughs> but because I love the plane, I love that feeling. That feeling in the air flying at 39,000 feet above the cloud, I was able to relax a bit more than I was on the ground. I was happier. Do you have that kind of feeling? Yes. Do anyone enjoy doing that? Yes. You're truly an FD. I do have so many best flights because I don't have any bad flights. I think the most memorable ones I could think about, you know, there are so many aircraft types because I go by types. You know, each aircraft type, I have a good flight. 
you know, Concourse, supersonic. Um, you know, there are so many Boeing 747, from 747 SP100 series to the 747-8. Um, in a few days, I'm going to Hong Kong. I'm going to fly a very special flight with Qatar Airways cargo, a 747-8 freighter. And that is the invited flight, like your question earlier, because there's no other way you can buy a cargo ticket, go on a cargo <laughs> ticket unless you pack yourself as a human meatball. <laughs> I want to ask you about the video also because I found out your video is getting better and better. So now when I see your video, I never watch it in my phone. So I use my big screen on TV. So I want to ask you, um, how did you improve yourself uh, when you're making the video? Is any, I mean, is anybody helps you to make that video? Thank you. I think this is also the evolution of a YouTuber, right? You have to improve to survive. You have to keep evolving. You have to try many different styles. Um, I am a very, very, I am a very, very stressful guy. I am a very, very dirty guy. And I am also a very, very um, ruthless guy. I want to push and push and push, you know? Um, when I work with an airline, I want to tell the airline how we can film because our, think about, you know, the most important thing is the end result, the audience. Think about what your audience want to see on your video. And then you need to deliver that angle. So, you know, almost reverse engineering and get it done. So, these days, time is not my friend. And I have now two part-time editors helping me. Um, so, all three of us are doing editing. Um, all three of us are capable to film um, sometimes they come to film with me together on a filming project, you will see a different perspective. And sometimes I'm holding the camera myself filming as I walk around the airport and things like that. And so um, I think the answer is you got to keep evolve and change and get better. What, are you, what do you think about the future of aviation? The future aviation is going to be, you know, you will see smaller, more economical planes. You start seeing A321, long range, A321, Neo, transatlantic. You know, you won't be surprised, Boeing will come out with a new middle body and doing the same thing. And you will see a lot more smaller planes than heavy bodies flying in the sky. And a lot more frequency, a lot more direct flight. I have a bigger idea I want to share with you. And I want everyone to be with me on this idea. Um, Next time when I come to Indonesia, we're not going to have a fan meeting anymore like this. We're going to have a fan meeting in the plane, flying together. Would you choose Boeing or Airbus? Boeing. Oh, Boeing wins. Great one, let me sign this thing. Hope you enjoyed.